All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 13. And in this lesson, pretty straightforward, we're gonna learn how to multiply unit fractions by unit fractions. So that's gonna be stuff like one-third times one-fifth. And we're gonna do something more than just explain the pattern or the rule. Oh, you just multiply straight across and that's how you get the answer. And that really, for the kids, as far as the kids are concerned, they're like, well, why? What is that? Why is that rule? Why does that make sense? And so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to explain um, why that rule makes sense and, and so that it's not just an arbitrary rule, but it's, uh, they have number sense and they understand why they're doing this. So let's get started. So we're going to begin by thinking of multiplication. You know, a lot of people uh, are kind of familiar with the concept that of means multiply, okay? And so we're going to start with that concept. And so when it says a quarter of a half, all right, so we know that that really means, we can think of that as one-fourth times one-half, but right now, let's think of it with the word of. So a quarter of a half. So we're going to start by thinking of a half. So let's start with a half. And so we're going to draw a picture of a hole. There's my hole. And now here's my half. And so and let's shade that in. So there is my half. Now we go back to the directions, you know, the, the problem, and it says a quarter of a half. So that means we're going to take this half right here and cut it up into four equal pieces, but I'm going to continue the whole way across. So there's my four equal pieces, and so right here is a quarter of a half. So we have this side is a, a half, and this side right here is a quarter and so a quarter of one half means it's one piece out of eight in total so the entire thing has eight pieces and a quarter of a half is one out of those eight so it's equal to one eighth now in your Engage New York materials you're probably gonna have you know one half and one quarter of a half and then you can say is equal to one-fourth times one-half, and then you can say it is equal to one-eighth. And so this is kind of what it, it, would nice, uh, it would look like nice and tidy. So let's practice. So this is one-quarter times one-third, and if you want, you can remind your students that this is, you know, one-fourth of a third. So we're going to begin by drawing a third. All right, so when we draw a third, here's my third right here. And so there's my one-third, and I'll label that one-third. Now it says we're supposed to have one-fourth of a third. So that means, again, we're going to cut it up into four equal pieces, and we want one-fourth of a third, one-fourth of a third, or we could think of it over here, one-fourth of a third. So here's a third, and it's cut into four equal pieces, and one of those four pieces is our one-fourth of a third. And you can count and see that the entire whole has been cut up into 12 equal pieces. Four times three is 12 equal pieces, and one-fourth of a third is one out of those 12 pieces. So our answer is 1 12th. So we're going to practice with some word problems. We've got Noah, and Noah mows a half of his property and leaves the rest wild, which incidentally is also a half, right? And then he decides to use one fifth of the wild area for a vegetable garden. What fraction of the property is used for the garden? All right. And so for that, and remember, it's that uh, vegetable garden there. Okay, so the big thing is we're supposed to draw a picture. So we're going to begin by drawing our hole. 
here's our hole and we go back to the the question and it says Noah mows half of his property and leaves the other half wild okay so we've got a half and half situation so there is our half and this is the part he mows and this is the part that's wild so there's our half and then it says he decides to use one-fifth of the wild area for vegetables so that means for this wild area and this is a half by the way we need to cut it up into five equal pieces because he uses one-fifth for his vegetable garden so we're gonna cut that into five equal pieces and one of those five pieces is for the vegetable garden so we started with cutting it in half and then we took the half and found a fifth of a half and so if we count the whole and count how many equal parts are in a whole we've got two times five is a whole so that's ten pieces is one whole and our answer is one out of ten so the answer is one tenth if we wanted to so by the way we we could proudly write the answer is one tenth is the garden is for the garden one tenth is the garden <laughs> I'm having a hard time writing <laughs> one tenth is the garden that is horrible penmanship sorry about that folks all right but if we wanted to make this look mathematical we would say one-fifth of one-half and that's one-fifth times that equals one-fifth times one-half and our answer is one-tenth so this is how it would look really mathematical but hey drawing a picture and finding the answer using logic at this point in the game totally appropriate last problem for this video Diego eats one-fifth of a loaf of bread each day and on Tuesday Diego eats a quarter of his day's portion before lunch now, what fraction of the whole loaf does Diego eat before lunch so we're supposed to draw a rectangle for this so we're gonna start by drawing our hole I'm gonna make it a little on the large side because he eats one-fifth of this loaf of bread each day so that means I'm gonna cut it up into five equal pieces one two three four five so there's my one-fifth so this is how much he eats each day but he eats a quarter of that before lunch and that's right here he eats a quarter of it before lunch so that technically means I need to cut it up like this and there's my quarter of it but we're gonna continue these lines all the way across and that shows us that the so he eats a quarter of his fifth for uh, before lunch so that shows us that the whole is cut up into 20 equal parts and our answer is one out of those 20. Uh, so our answer is 1 20th is eaten before lunch. 1 20th eaten before lunch. Okay. Now, if we want to make that look mathematical, we would say, okay, 1 4th of one fifth and that's one fourth times one fifth and that gives us the answer one twentieth and that's how it would look like in real pure math terms now teachers and parents one fourth of one fifth now that's appropriate because he of one fifth of the bread he eats one fourth of it before lunch so this is one fourth of one fifth that's appropriate now don't get too caught up if students would do one-fifth of one-fourth and have it backwards. Ultimately, we know that multiplication is commutative, so it doesn't matter. 
Um, we are, however, we, you know, if we can try and get them to write it in the proper order based on the vocabulary that's going on. Uh, but that is not a hill to die on. That is really um, a, a big goal. But ultimately, um, multiplication is commutative. So if they have it backwards, the student has it backwards, that's okay because we'll still get the same answer. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 13, Multiplying Unit Fractions by Unit Fractions.